I decided to hop on this trend a little late and make an airless soccer ball. Similar to what I've been doing with the airless basketball, I was wanting to see how close I could get an airless soccer ball to look and perform like a normal soccer ball that you can buy from the store. For my first attempt at an airless soccer ball, I decided to try the Ataraxia Art Flexible PLA Filament because I've had some pretty promising results with airless basketballs, so I thought it would be a promising first try. Of course, the first thing I had to do was design and print the actual airless soccer ball. Then I cleaned it up and removed the support so that I could get it all ready for testing and painting. Once it was smooth and ready to go, I gave it a quick weigh to see how close it was to a regular soccer ball. And for the professional leagues, they use a size 5 and the weight range is between 410 and 450 grams. So it looks like we are 1 gram off from being within the weight range. I wanted to test the airless soccer ball against a size 5 that I bought from the store. And once I unwrapped the size 5 soccer ball, I used my handy little smart tire inflator to inflate it to the regulation PSI. If you look online, it states that the official pressure should be between 8.5 and 15.6 PSI, so I went ahead and split the difference and just went to 12 PSI. Once it was inflated to 12 PSI, it was ready to go, but before I took these out to do a bounce test, I wanted to paint the airless soccer ball to actually look more like a regular soccer ball. And once it was painted and ready to go, I took the two soccer balls out to the garage and gave them a bounce test. So right off the bat, it's very obvious to see that the regular soccer ball bounces a lot better. But now it's time to take the two soccer balls out to the soccer field to see how they actually perform. As you can guess, the airless soccer ball was a little clunky to use given it was so flexible and squishy, but it actually held up really well and it was very fun to play with. We played out on the soccer field for about an hour and it held up just fine the whole time and it added a bit of a challenge to the game which was fun. So obviously the Flex PLA wasn't the greatest filament to go with. I'm gonna have to try something with a little more hardness rating or maybe try the PEBA PEBA filament that I've had such good results with the airless basketball. Let me know if you have any recommendations in the comments. I'm going to be releasing my STL file for the airless soccer ball along with the Flex PLA printing profile in case you want to print your own. So keep your eye out for that and let me know what we should try next. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.